Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Shore. I talk about roleplay games and today we're going to be playing Sonic Adventure 2. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and arrived aboard the Space Colony Ark, shut down 50 years ago due to an accident or some something like that, and we planned to go ahead and try to switch out the a fake Chaos Emerald that Tails had created with the real Chaos Emeralds that Eggman has. In this episode, we're going to continue throughout the Space Colony arc and see if we can do just that. Uh, in these rooms right here, you just don't want to shoot at all, because more often than not, you'll, ex you'll blow up something that you don't want to blow up. So, just try to go by without shooting too much. Uh, that door's not able to be opened, so we want to go ahead and go through the left here. No! Here, I'll just turn that on. Now... One thing that uh, I have not mentioned yet, uh, which is surprising because that is probably what this game is most well known for, is the Chow Garden. This is a sort of, I don't know if it's like a simulator, but more of like this. You take care of a Chow, which are those little alien creatures that first appeared in uh, Sonic Adventure 1, and uh, you, you know, you give them you know, different fruits and uh, different animals and stuff like that, and you give them to uh, your chow, and it'll eventually grow and get bigger stats, and you'll be able to uh, have it compete in different races and different events, and, you know, just have fun with that. The reason that I haven't talked about it much is it's something that I've never really done. I want to get around to it eventually, but... Uh, hold on, let me go ahead and just... This enemy sucks, by the way. Uh, this and its other counterpart uh, has these stretchy arms that are super annoying to deal with. But I haven't done the Chow Garden much. I never did it in Sonic Adventure 1, and 1 as a kid, and I wanted to get around to doing it. But it seemed to me like a sort of... It seemed to me like it would be boring, and I could never find a good tutorial on on it. I, I guess it's sort of like... I don't know. I, I don't want to guess what the appeal is. Uh, but I do eventually want to sit down and try to give it a go. I'm surprised I survived that. But I do... Con. I do want to eventually sit down and give it a go and actually sit through it. Um, sit through that makes it sound like I'm being tortured or something. No, it's just that I want to actually give it a fair shot and let you guys know how it is. I'll probably end, it, end up loving it as well. I... No. This level can be super annoying, so if you get frustrated at this part, don't worry. I'm sure a lot of other people would get frustrated too. The enemies are super annoying, but if you shoot at them, you'll probably shoot off parts of the bridge, uh, which, which makes it a lot harder to platform and then the remaining enemies are super annoying to deal with. I keep shooting off parts that I don't want to shoot off. Ow! Yeah, I'm sorry for making weird noises. Just trying very hard to get through this. I don't typically rage at games. Like, I'm never, like, I'm never one to, like, throw a controller and get super upset like that um like usually i just i'll just play ah come on and get sort of annoyed with a game uh one game that's sort of gotten me close to raging but not really is uh oh by the way bazooka greatest power up not really it's just it's funny to say that you've got a bazooka in a sonic game uh Sorry, by the way, there are fireworks outside, so that... You might hear that in the background. I didn't mean to blow that up. Uh, but Sonic Spinball, I've been playing through that because that game was confirmed to be canon. And so I was like, I want to play through all of the canon Sonic games. And if we eventually do get like a, a full-on list of all of the canon Sonic games, I, I might like play through them all on my second channel. But ah. 
But yeah, that game is super annoying. Uh, I... For those classic Sonic games, I usually play with like a, a level select code. Uh, it's not like I skip ahead to future to other levels when I can't beat them. It's just that like lives in games are super annoying and not necessary. And so I'll just bring myself back to the beginning of, of the level that I've failed to beat. And so I've been doing that with Sonic Spinball and it is just agonizing. It's really hard to control and so I've just been struggling with that a lot. But yeah, that's the end of the level here. better next time. Okay, Sonic! Now put that emerald... <laughs> Tails! Tell Sonic to meet you back at the research facility. Sonic! Now. Amy is... I, I didn't get that, Tails. What happened to Amy? Tails! Anyways, while all that dramatic stuff is happening, Stage 14, Meteor Herd. Probably the most annoying, well not the most annoying level, the most n annoying Knuckles level in this game. Okay, so first of all, upgrade here. We want to try to hit this rock over here. Ah, no. Crap. Is there another rock over here that I could punch? This will probably probably be the last level that we do in this episode and you might be saying oh what we just we've only done one level before this this level is probably going to take me forever because this level is insanely big uh, not insanely big but it is very big uh, and can be very annoying to traverse and you have to go through it uh, probably around three times to get all of the master emerald pieces by the way, yeah, we're back to uh, collecting Master Emerald pieces. We still haven't fully fixed that yet. I do think this is the last one, though, so that's good. Going out with a bang, sort of, and by bang, I mean a not very fun level. I'm sorry, I don't mean to sound so negative. This episode has been kind of negative uh, for some reason. But yeah, I do find this game really fun. It's just that... You know, these Master Emerald hunting uh, levels can be kind of a slow crawl at points. And of course, I if you enjoy these levels, then that's perfectly fine. You shouldn't need to, you know, have me validate your opinion. Your opinion is your opinion. As long as it's not hurting anybody, who cares? Uh, but yeah. I feel kind of weird having to preface preface every time I say one of my opinions with, hey, this is completely fine uh, if you like this thing, because I feel like that should be obvious, but you know, in this day and age, a lot of people online will just see someone have a different opinion than them and just kind of get upset for some reason. I don't know. Uh... But yeah, enough positive, not enough, I was about to say enough positive stuff, but no, that's not what I'm trying to say. Enough negative stuff, let's focus on more positive stuff. I uh, like the music. The music in these uh, levels are really good. I'm surprised I haven't mentioned the music yet. The music in this game, just like most other Sonic games, is absolutely incredible. The soundtrack of the soundtrack of this game is probably the most iconic out of all of them, and this game's main theme, Live and Learn, is like considered to be one of the greatest, if not the greatest, Sonic songs of all time. Uh. See, now, this is why this level can kind of get on my nerves, because I went up and down once, I still haven't found anything. Let me walk around this bottom level real quick, 
And you know what? I'm gonna start looking at, uh... Hints, once I come around to those. Uh, the Ark's huge storage area. So I... I sort of have an idea of where that might be? Let me see if I can... Can I... Ah, that was the wrong door. There's an upgrade you can get in this level. Uh, later, once I finish the hero story, I'm going to come back to all of the different levels and get all of the different upgrades that you can possibly get. Uh, like, I missed the uh, upgrade in Aquatic Mine in a previous episode. And so I'm going to go back and get that. I'll get the one here if I don't get it, uh, which I most likely won't. What do you have to say? Between the inverted blue tower and the steel tower on the ground. Inverted blue tower, steel tower on the ground. Once again, I am so sorry for the fireworks in the background. Square stone platform near the... I'm not even going to try it. Because you have to... Oh, no, you can switch between these with uh, L2 and R2. Square stone platform near... The huge containers. Okay, it sounds like the fireworks might be ending. Okay, I think it's around here. Oh, yep. It's close. Picking up on it. There it is. Two more left. Very nice. So yeah, forgive me for using hints on this stage. Uh, this stage can take very long. Like, I think on my first run through this stage, it took me around 15 minutes or so. Which is more than a Sonic level should ever take to complete. Speaking of Sonic games with uh, longer levels, uh, Sonic Heroes I played through, or I played through most of recently, and you know it's it's a solid game. I can see why a lot of people are giving it more praise as of recently. Uh, you know, I completed the Team Rose story because that was sort of, sort of like the beginner one, and then I completed Team Sonic story. I got to the last level of Team Dark, and I struggled with it a lot, and so I never ended up completing it. I'm gonna eventually go back to that game and beat it. And then Team Chaotix, I wasn't really having fun going through the first level of that. Down below. Okay. I guess I never really checked the bottom layer here, so I'll go ahead and do that. Oh, there we go around here. Oh, so back here maybe? No. Oh. Uh, oh, is it uh, very close? Nope, not over there. Oh. It's in this very specific spot. But I'm not seeing the exclamation mark that appears when you're right next to the emerald, so I'm not sure exactly where it is. What do you have to say? Under the star symbol near the... Oh, is it right here? Oh! For some reason, I didn't think it was over there. Like, the, the thought crossed my mind, but I thought I walked over near it and I didn't get anything. Huh, weird. I love that noise that Knuckles makes when he's about to fall. Speaking of Knuckles games, another Sonic game that I tried to play through recently uh, was Knuckles Chaotix, and I was having an alright time with that. Uh, I had the ultimate combo of Charmy B and Vector the Crocodile, and you know I was having it was a, it was an alright time. Like I was. When I was playing through that game, I would have given it like a 6 out of 10, but I never ended up beating it because at one point I accidentally like left the, not really hub area, but that area where you select the levels and it, I realized that I had accidentally chosen the no save save file uh, and I didn't even realize it and so I lost all of my progress and I was like, Okay, I'm not really going... I don't really want to go through that again. Because... The design of those levels isn't... Like, the most... F 
it isn't the most fun thing in the world, you know. Uh, again, this episode is getting super negative, but, uh, you know, when it comes to this level, it's hard to not be, and I know I was talking in the last episode about, you know, it's better to, it's a lot more entertaining for people recently to talk about, uh, you know, things that you, you're passionate about and you love, uh, but hey, I'm passionate about this stuff, just not in the loving sort of way. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure after I beat this level, in the next episode, I'll probably be much more positive. In fact, in the next episode, I might actually beat the hero story, which would be super cool. Where is this last emerald shard? Uh, what do you have to say, Monitor? Oh, didn't mean to fall off there. Center of a square shadow. That doesn't help me in the slightest. The hints in the in these levels can range from telling you exactly where it is to giving you basically no information. There are so many square-shaped things that... You know, I'll just find another monitor and that'll probably give me a better hint. On the gray ground below. Gray ground below. Below what? Not necessarily below here, because I'm pretty sure that hint can pop up anywhere. Gray ground. This looks pretty gray. Try digging in the middle of a moving weight. I don't know what that's referring to. I think that's why I'm not the greatest at, uh, at this level, because there's so many things going on that my brain just immediately blanks out when trying to remember different parts of this level. And, you know, Knuckles stages are all about when you replay the game, you memorize them, and you learn how to properly, you know, move through them to get the most out of them. Uh, so like in the first Knuckles stage, the canyon, I forget exactly what it's called, uh, that stage I sort of uh, move in a T formation where I immediately go up to the top. I don't think I did this tactic in my actual recording of it, but I typically like to go up to the top and you know, search, go down the two paths there, and then go back down and circle around uh, until I find the emerald piece and then just rinse and repeat with that. Do I have to go up here, maybe? See, we're reaching 11 minutes here with the stage. I think the fastest I've ever done it is like five and a half minutes. And when the fastest you can do a level is five and a half minutes in this game, that is not Great. I am definitely, I would be absolutely shocked if I got an A rank with this stage, but there is no way in hell that I am getting it. This might be the first level where I start cutting stuff out, because it's going to be a bit annoying going from, just going from place to place, and I don't want you guys to have to experience all of that. So I might just cut in the important parts of me talking, and then later on we'll just... I'm sure if there are any speedrunners watching this, they're probably screaming at their screen right now because... Speedrunners of this game, when it comes to Knuckles le levels, are absolutely insane because they can memorize, like, a ton of hints, at least from what I've seen. Uh, center of Square Shadow, on the gray ground below, try digging in the middle of a moving weight. What moving weight are they talking about? Never walked over here before, at least I don't think. I mean, it's a tiny little area, so it doesn't really matter, but... 
Moving weight. Okay, when they talk about Great Grand Below, I'm gonna assume that they're talking about the very bottom. <gasps> okay, here it is. Oh, this is the moving weight. Do I have to... Yep, I have to dig under it again, just like in uh, Death Chamber. I have to try harder. Listen, Knuckles, it was difficult. Long time no see, treasure hunter. Did you find my emerald? That's a good one. Your emerald? Talking to you is a waste of time. Very well. If that's how you want to play, I will take it from you. Rouge. I don't... I think this is our first Knuckles boss fight. Uh, just keep punching and diving and you should be good. Like, I believe if... We should be good if we just follow her around for a bit. And then dive on her when we get close to her. Yep, there we go. She just has one hit left, and once we go ahead and hit her, uh, we're going to end off the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, I'll go ahead and let the cutscene play out. But in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and probably finish off the hero story. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Stop fooling around and give, give me, me back, back my emeralds. What are you babbling about? You call yourself a hunter attacking a lady? Shame on you. What kind of lady goes around stealing gems anyway? Those belong to me. What in the world? Keep your hands to yourself. Don't touch me. Is that how you say thanks to someone who just saved your life? Saving my life? Don't think I owe you one. You just wanted to hold my hand, didn't you? That's why you saved me. You're such a creep. This isn't a joke, you know. Think what you want, that girl. I was saving the Master Emerald. <sighs> No matter what you say, it sounds crazy. What? Fine, then just take them. They stink like echidnas do. If that's what you thought, you should have given me them in the first place. Finally. What? I'm sorry if I hurt you. We should get going.